Next game, the Indianapolis Colts versus the Denver Broncos. And I'm taking the Colts. Um, I told y'all last week in that game versus Houston Texans, I said if Houston Texans turn the ball over one time, the Colts are going to sneak them. Because this is what they do. Like when Andrew Luck went out, a lot of Colts fans probably were sad and thought that, man, our season is over. No, it's not. Brissett is not a superstar quarterback, but you know what he is, ladies and gentlemen? He's a good quarterback. Mm-hmm. And, and, and y'all the... have a hell of a team up there surrounding him. No, the and I is think a good that, football uh, team. The reason why some people might have had a reservation because of that it was that one year that he played and the coach didn't win too many games. But that coach defense when the defense that they got this year. Yeah, season. but then, and the offensive then, line ain't the offensive line they got this year. Yeah, and Jacoby wasn't losing them games for them neither. Yeah. He just wasn't winning them for them. No, but no, he no losing them. Yeah, but he wasn't losing them game for them. And um, now like they they good man. You can't go in there half stepping with the coach at all. Guys, mm-hmm. if you do, they gonna beat you. And and the Broncos are in the process of shipping and rebuilding, possibly. So some of them players didn't come in and I already and I because you hear that from uh NFL player that yo when teams start doing then some of them players start taking off. Yeah. So that means some of them players on them Broncos and I already took off. Loading up that truck. They didn't trade it in Manuel Sanders. It's still like that time of my year they might trade Chris Harris. So they're like, yeah, they finna start taking off. Yep. They finna start taking off. Hey, we packing in. We re- we finna like get you, ready for next season. You know, they, they was in that phase for a while. They, at first it was like, yo, we're a quarterback away. Then they signed Peyton, and then they won the Super Bowl. Then Peyton retired, and then they were back in that phase again. We're mm-hmm. quarterback away. We're quarterback away. And now they ain't got Flacco in there. And they're like, you know what, guys? We're not a quarterback away. Mm-hmm. We're not a quarterback away. And they were losing players in that same time um, that that was going on. But, yeah, I'm going to take uh, the Colts in this game. Um, I like they love their defense. Offensive line is playing great. Jacoby is able to get the ball off, get him to the guys that he want to get the ball to. And Cass is out there making uh, runs off the catch for him. Catches. Yeah, helping him out tremendously with his wide receivers and tight ends. And, uh, man, and Ebron, man. Ebron. I've been there. Like, it, like the, the Detroit line let Ebron go, and you understood that. But, man, I every time I tune mm-hmm. in to the coach, I see him making – a spectacular play. We're like, man, Ebron out there doing great for the Colts now. No, I always said, like, I wanted Ebron when he came out the draft. I wanted him to go to the Packers. When he went to Detroit, I said, that ain't going to work because Detroit just had Brandon Pettigrew and seemed like Matthew Stafford couldn't give him the ball. Yeah. And then they get Ebron, couldn't give him the ball. And after going from Detroit, he was looking like a bust because yeah, he was a first-round pick. Yeah. But now he looking like, no, that's a potential that he had all along. Yeah, and that's yeah, why. He looked good up there. Like, when I looked at the tight end of Detroit draft this year, I'm like, uh, Who's the best tight end in football? Um, hey, Kelsey, right? Kelsey is probably the number one. But after that. After him, probably George Kittle for the San Francisco 49 because – he can play like he is, he can you, catch and like yo if you give him Brown space. In top five. Yeah, I would say so. To me, I would say so. I would say Kelsey then Kittle. Let me see. See, I probably would say Ebron right after that. Yeah, no, I was just thinking about the tight end position. I'm like, Cause you got Greg Olson still when he, when he healthy. Yeah, when he healthy. I forgot about Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz. Yeah, Zach Ertz. Yeah, yeah, Zach Ertz. And then Tyler Eifert at one point was a top yeah. tight end, but them injuries and stuff is not helping him. Uh, Austin Hooper, I probably mm, been, like he right. he do good for what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 
when you, like when you look at the option, when you go out there, you saying, "No, we got Julio, we got Calvin Ridley." Now he probably won't have to produce more now because y'all just traded away Sanu. But yeah, and you throw Hunter Henry in there, uh, possibly, but he yeah, Andrew Pump, Andrew Pump. So yeah, um, yeah, but I'm taking the Colts, man, in this game. Who you got, Smoke? I'm taking the Colts. I said that. There you have it, people. We're taking the coast. We're riding with the coast. Hit that like button, subscribe. 